Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I'm very happy to be joining you at uh, Halaka TV. My name is Hassan Hamza and today I'll be answering brother Ahmed questions about my joining of Islam. Uh, so the first question the brother asked is uh, when did I convert or revert to Islam? It's revert. So I, my, my story is a bit complicated. I, everyone is born a Muslim, we say, but my father is a Muslim, my mother is a Christian. So they separated when I was young and I ended, ended, up, growing, uh, ended up growing up with my mother who, who became a Christian. So I, she started going to church and I went to church with her around uh, 2013, 2012, 2013, I don't quite remember. I, one day I was with a couple of friends and uh, they were Muslims, we were having lunch. Then they just stood up and went to pray and I stood up and went with them. I didn't take Shahada, they showed me how to take Wudu. My name was Hassan Hamza and they didn't uh, ask me a, 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 a questions about. So I, I, I just did that and that's how I can say I reverted to Islam. Uh, so the second question is, uh, what motivated me to become a Muslim? I, for a very long time, I considered myself, I don't know, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if consider, considering myself a Muslim, but I loved, I, I think Islam was in me. If I saw a Muslim, I would uh, so much want to know about Islam. So one of the things that motivated me, I think, is first my name all along was Hassan Hamza. So it was easy for me to uh, start uh, praying or start acting as a Muslim. So the, so the third question uh, brother asked is how I approached. So I think it's something that was on my mind for some time. I didn't sit down and uh, plan how it will happen. But just one day, like I said before, I was working in an organization where some of the brothers that we were working with, they were Muslims that I had gone to primary school with and we, were, we, were, we had met in this job. So after, maybe it was an year, uh, an year or uh, some time, one day as they, they, they went to pray. I don't know what happened, but I just found myself standing up and going to pray with them. So at first it was a bit hard for me because when I prayed and because my name is Hassan Hamza or my name was Hassan Hamza before, uh, before, even before that, no one told me there are five uh, prayers. The, no one showed me about the, uh, how to, read, uh, to recite the Quran. So at first it was a bit hard for me. And uh, Alhamdulillah, one of the things that helped me, uh, it was the advent of WhatsApp, or it's the time that was WhatsApp uh, was coming up, the WhatsApp groups, and someone added me to uh, an Islamic WhatsApp group. And I think I, for some time I was, I was a silent follower. I was following what uh, things that people were saying, I was observing prayer times, and alhamdulillah, I can say, uh, I would like to, I would like, and I would, I'm, I'm, I'm praying that Allah loves me, because he, he did guide me to the straight path, alhamdulillah, and um, every day of my life, I'm struggling to be in the Sirat al-Mustaqim, may Allah Accept it from me and from everyone who's watching. So the fourth question is, uh, how was my journey to Islam? I, I, I would like to answer this, my journey after Islam, because uh, I've, I've already spoken of my journey before Islam. So my journey after becoming a Muslim, I like I said in my previous answer is, uh, I joined these Islamic WhatsApp groups where the admins or the people 
they shared about the, the times of prayers and uh, I learned many t terminologies, but alhamdulillah, <laughs> it was, it didn't come, they say nothing good comes without a fight. So I had a very, uh, a very hard challenge at, at, at first because I didn't know how to pray. At times, I remember I downloaded uh, prayers from, from YouTube and I put on my computer and I used to pray even the fard, fard, uh, five fard prayers watching from the computer. I didn't know it's not allowed. I remember uh, during uh, prayer times. I didn't know prayer times. I didn't know this time is Duhur. I didn't know this time is Asr. I didn't know about Maghrib and Isha. So when I, when I, when I, I felt stressed, I would walk uh, outside the masjid and if I saw shoes, people, so many shoes outside, I will know that it's uh, prayer time and I will go in and pray. So my journey was uh, a bit hard, a bit challenging, but alhamdulillah, through the, through the help of Allah and uh, good friends that I met when I became a Muslim and when I started Dawah, alhamdulillah, I can say uh, things have opened up. Alhamdulillah, I've learned a thing or two, like they say. And now, Alhamdulillah, I try as much as possible to call other people to Islam and also to teach what I know. Uh, so this is an interesting one. The question is, uh, what kind of a person was I before Islam? So, uh, <laughs> you know, the hardest questions are the ones... Uh, you ask about you when you go to an interview and someone tells you, tell me about yourself. So the person that I was before Islam, I can say, I was, I, I, Alhamdulillah, even before Islam, Islam, I was a person of the middle path. In that, I, I used to indulge in some things, but I won't go to the extreme. I won't go to the extreme of partying. When I see my friends would like to party, I will on, only go once in a while. I won't go to extremes of other things. I, I think also from the way I was brought up by my mother is I was a person, first, alhamdulillah, I was respectful. But at that time, I thought the opportunities that I had, I, I was a person that, you know, I didn't have the Islamic Sharia. So the things that I would do were not under the Islamic guidance or the halal and the haram. But Alhamdulillah, like I said, I was a person of a uh, middle path. I will try to uh, not to go to the extreme. I remember most of the times, like I said, my, my friends will go every weekend for a party, but I will go only once in a while. And also I tried to, because I came from the slums and most of my friends and people that we grew up with, they, because of the situation, poverty, and lack of jobs and employment, most of them got into crime. But I and uh, some of the friends that I kept close, we were people that wanted to strive and get something out of our sweat. And Alhamdulillah, I think that was some of the things that uh, really shaped the person that I am today. So <laughs> this is an interesting one. Is asking, the brother is asking what's the difference between a Christian and a Muslim. So Alhamdulillah, uh, Alhamdulillah for Islam, though I've tested both sides, you know, like they say, uh, Christianity is man without religion. And they also say Islam is uh, religion without men. I'm not, please don't misquote me. Uh, I say like they said. But when I was a Christian, you know, I remember us going to church with my mother and we had a, a small Mabati church and then there was another church next to it, a different church. And us, the, the, the people in our church would uh, beat drums and the other people would clap and dance. So the issue is in Christianity, people do things without Dalil. People just, someone can come up with the church and say, uh, and decide this is what we are going to do in this church. But Alhamdulillah, in Islam, what I found is that in everything that someone 
says, everything that someone does, everything that you follow, there must be a dalil. So I think one of the most important thing, and, and then uh, the most important thing also about Islam is the Quran and the, and the hadith. Because if someone stands and, and, and says, this what should be done, or this, not, uh, sh this should not be done, or this is the food that should be eaten, this, not the, this food should not be eaten, you ask why. And if someone, if you come to a, uh, a mosque in Nairobi, the Quran that you'll get there, and a mosque in Mombasa, and a mosque in uh, Washington, I've, I've not been to Washington, but I, I'm, I'm just speculating because uh, people from there have told us, the Quran that you find everywhere is the same. So I think that's the most important thing about Islam is that we have the Quran and we have the Sunnah. And the, uh, that is the hadith of the Rasulullah uh, So the brother asks, did I attain knowledge? And if yes, is it applicable to my life? Wallahi, uh, I won't consider myself knowledgeable. I'm still learning. Every day I try to learn uh, something new. But Alhamdulillah, in regards to the basics of Islam, like uh, what to do in a day-to-day -day, uh, basis, the basics of uh, dua, and uh, maybe the dua of going to the, uh, the masjid, uh, coming back to home, and such basics of Islam, alhamdulillah, I've, I, I've tried to, to grasp, have a grasp of, 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 uh, of them. And also, I, I remember talking to someone one, one time about how I joined Islam and uh, how I started learning about Islam. And they asked me, so you are your first teacher. And alhamdulillah, <laughs> we, we, we had a good laugh. So I, I tend to think that I was, I, try, I taught myself a lot of the things and then later, alhamdulillah, I got a, a, an ustad who taught me Quran and then I later, alhamdulillah, I joined a Arabic class. I went also to, I did a certificate about uh, reverts, about Islam, new uh, basics about Islam. So alhamdulillah, I don't consider myself knowledgeable but I consider myself to know the basics and I try as much as possible to abide by the, uh, what I know and I try it as much as possible to learn new things. Alhamdulillah and may Allah teach us, uh, may Allah make us learn as much as we can. Uh, I don't consider myself that level of giving advice but I can give my life experience before and after I became a Muslim. You know, before I became a Muslim, I had that dream of traveling the whole world. Actually, I was uh, in, uh, in a non-governmental or an NGO where we had opportunities where you could go, uh, you could get opportunities to go anywhere in the world f uh, where there were conferences for young people. And I had things that I was doing that I thought this was the way life should be lived. And when I became a Muslim, you know, thinking about Islam, the first thing that people think about is the prohibitions. Uh, this you should know, you will not do, uh, have a chance to do this, you will not have a chance to do this. But, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, be, since I became a Muslim, my life has really, really changed. In, be it in my finances, be it my relationships with my family, I even got married, Alhamdulillah. So, my advice to anyone who wants to become a Muslim is, it's the best choice that you can ever make. Best choice you can ever make in this life. Because Allah says in the Quran, deen, in a deen, in the lahi, Islam. That the deen or knowledge before Allah is Islam. On the day of judgment, no one else will come with any other religion that will be acceptable to Allah other than Islam. So anyone, anyone who is blessed enough to get this message, my plea, I beg you, my brother, that the best thing that you can do in this life, when, when you are still breathing, is for you to say that there's only one God to be worshipped, and Muhammad is his prophet, and you acknowledge all those other prophets, and you do what Allah expects of you, and you stop 
what Allah doesn't want you to do and there's no better life than that. Thank you so much for watching. That is my story. I hope I've inspired someone. I hope someone has learned and I'm open. You can find me on Facebook. My, uh, my handle is Hassan Hamza. On Twitter, my handle is at Donga Hamza. And I'm uh, willing and open to connect with you, answer any questions that you have uh, con uh, concerning Islam. And most importantly, keep watching Halaka TV. إذا ما قالني ربي أمستحيا